Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark on this interloper playthrough. This is episode 56, and we are currently in the Great Mother's house. We made it, uh, made it here last night, and the storm was blowing in, I believe. Um, and now that we're here, you know, I got to thinking we should probably get some cloth. How's our cloth situation? I think we're just, we're out of cloth, aren't we? Just have the one. And bandages, we have three. So I think this morning, it's going to be cold for a little while. I can hear the wind blowing outside. So let's harvest up some cloth. I'm also curious how many arrows we have left. Down to five arrows. So I might need to be, ooh, laggy there. Might need to be uh, more frugal and selective with what I shoot. We can get uh, nice. We can get three out of that. Okay. So does that give us a total of seven now? Are we at seven. Okay, seven uh, cloth. Um, the territory we're heading into, I believe, is very scarce on cloth, or almost no cloth in uh, Hush River Valley. So I almost want to grab. Should we grab some more? I'll grab one more. One more curtain. Okay. Now we do have some cured guts. Uh, how many are we carrying? We currently have one cured gut. And... Might grab one more. They really don't weigh all that much. Um, cats, uh, cattails. We're kind of short on cattails, although I think I did pick some up towards the end of the last episode. Yeah, we're, we're up to seven now. Might grab just a little bit more. Let's go with ten. And do I have any charcoal? I probably do. I always have charcoal. I probably have too much charcoal, actually. Um, there we go. We got two, piece, two pieces of charcoal I saw right there. Okay, we should be good. And then firewood. We've got two sticks. I'm going to take a few more sticks. Okay, do we have any junky torches? We kind of, yeah, it's kind of a junky torch right there. Let's harvest these guys up. Okay. Now, do we have a toolbox here? I think I did drop my toolbox back in the cave. But it seemed to me that we had an extra toolbox, a tool, set of, set of tools here, but I guess we don't. Guess we don't. Okay, so I think this morning I'm going to head out to, to the uh, Pleasant Valley Farm. Ooh, we got one more of those. Let's harvest that up. Let's head out to the Pleasant Valley Farm, and then we can go, just go straight north from there to head towards the uh, Hushed River Valley. Um, next time I have a fire, I also want to craft up some more fire-hardened arrows. I think we're down to maybe just one or two. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, we're down to two fire-hardened arrows, although we only started with three, I think, anyway. Um, I'm going to switch to the better arrows. Because I'll forget. There we go. Okay. And how are we doing for sewing kits? I think we're okay. Sewing kits. We have two. Alright. Two sewing kits. I can still hear the wind uh, outside. I'm not, I'm not real excited to get going if the, uh, the wind is blowing. Let's check our clothing. So our, we got our mitts back up to 100% in the last episode. We still need to get our, our pants and boots repaired sometime. Sometime soon. Uh, fortunately, we did kill a deer. Well, we had a wolf kill a deer for us in the last episode. Uh, unfortunately, I think he ran off with our arrow. 
Uh, but uh, we do. The guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy. We do that. have uh, one deer hide curing here. Okay, I think I might take a bunch of stuff. Well, you know, first, before I get ahead of myself, let's check the weather. Because I may not be able to head out if the weather's bad. And the weather is bad. Okay. Do have some food. Noises. Sometimes really trip me up. Whoa, I'm going to get thirsty, huh? All right, let's get a drink. Okay. Let's go inside. Now, I think we're done reading books, right? We uh, pretty much have read all the books we can. Water. We're doing good for water. Um, you know, one thing I could do to pass time... I, uh, we could just walk through the storm over to the uh, Pleasant Valley Farm. You know, I do want to take another pot with us. We got so many pots here. And, you know, I think I'm more likely to use the uh, the Pleasant Valley Farm. Seems like I, I've been using the Pleasant Valley Farm a lot more than this building here. I'll take two pots with us. We can bring them over to the other location. Um, ooh, sounds like the weather may have let up, actually. And... Uh, do I need any metal? You know, I really... I'm going to take the metal, too. Because on our way out of here, I might want to take the metal with us uh, down to that cave. And eventually, we're going to want to craft up some more arrowheads, I think. Um, I'm going to take the deer hide. Do we want to take... You know, I'll take a couple... Take a couple wolf pelts. How many cured guts do we have here? Got quite a few. I'll take a couple more. We'll leave some of those here. Leave the wolf pelts here. And I think we are ready to set out. Ooh, hey, more spray paint. Okay, I do want to take some spray paint with us to the Hushed River Valley. I'm going to need it, I think. Let's check on the weather, because it sounded like the storm has lifted. Yeah, it has. So we're probably going to be in good shape to head out of here. I don't have any smelly stuff on me. Let's get a torch out, just in case. And I'm going to make a run for the... Uh... Let's head back to the Pleasant Valley Farm. I'm going to drop off a bunch of this stuff, and then we can continue heading north. Yeah, on the, uh, the first time we crafted all those arrows, I kind of wish I had made a lot more arrowheads. Yeah, they seem to be pretty useful, pretty valuable, and especially with my inability and it, critters run off all the time. Hey critter, we're just talking about you. Is he going to cross the bridge? That's cool. Hey, we got a bridge right here in um, near my house. They, they built a bridge over the highway, so I live up in the mountains. They built a bridge over the highway, and the bridge is 100% for wildlife to cross over. It's not for humans. And uh, they do that so the wildlife doesn't cross on the freeway. It's actually pretty cool. And they, they put cameras up, too, so you can you can actually watch the, uh, the wildlife. You know, they got all kinds. Predators, you know, wolves, bears, coyotes. But then they also have deer and little critters. I'm freezing. It's actually pretty cool. 
Okay, so when we when we're ready to continue our adventure here, we're gonna head north. Probably, I think up that way, or up that way somewhere. Um, we're gonna head north from the farm here. But for now, I'm gonna drop off a bunch of our stuff. And uh, it would be nice if those crows would. Whoa. Be nice if the crows could tell me where our kills, where our wolf kills are. Okay, these hills are actually kind of annoying because I think the wolves can kind of hide down in these hills. I'm going to kind of walk around them. Did I leave anything in the barn here? No, I don't think I did. Okay. Let's get back in the house before we take much more damage. Okay, let's grab these guys as well. Okay, and put our torch away. Start warming up. Okay, I'm going to drop our curable items. Um, we need to drop our deer hide. Let that cure. And we're going to drop our wolf pelts here. And I'll drop the uh, scrap metal. saplings. Now, um, we did have a, I did see a uh, workbench over in the barn there. Do we have any tools in here? I, I'm wondering if I need tools to craft up the uh, arrows. I want to craft some arrow shafts because I think we do have some in our inventory here. I should have some arrowheads. We've got two arrowheads. Oh, I do have, whoa, I have nine arrow shafts. I didn't realize I was carrying those, okay. So in that case, we could, uh, oh, we need tools though, right? Simple arrow, just, well, I guess we can do it without tools. It just takes longer, right? We could go over and use the workbench and craft up two more arrows. You know, it seems like I have so many extra tools all over the map, but uh, never where you need them. So I got a crowbar here. I could swear we had some tools here, but I guess uh, I guess not. Okay, so I might have to make a fire, and uh, just to keep us warm while we craft up some arrowheads. And I've already used up all of our wood. So in that case, while we're warming up here, maybe I'll break down a crate or something. we got this chair. Break down a chair. Oh, it takes an hour and 18 minutes for four reclaimed wood. Uh, time of day. You know, I might have to do that. How about these chairs? So look, it's only 39 minutes, and you get three of them. It's a much better deal. We're going to go for that. And how about the crates? Ten minutes, and you get one. Nice. Let's do that. This gear. Fifteen by hand. All right. Let's. Uh, we'll do it by hand. That's fine. Okay. Um. What else did I want to drop? Oh, we got those extra pots, right? So we'll keep the one that's eighty-six percent. Let's drop these other two. And got some water that's drinkable. Okay. 
let's see what else was I gonna draw so we're doing okay for wood looks like got lots of tea I got these shoes yeah let's drop those and looks like I can put on my warm hat here and take off our crampons Got our rabbits. You know, I think I'll put the rabbits outside again. I uh, don't know that I really need anything off the rabbits. Yeah, I think we're good. And then these acorns. At some point, I need to prepare those. I, I really don't know what to do with the acorns. Should I make them into coffee? Should I just hang on to them? Um, should I use them for fishing lures? I, yeah, I don't know. Just kind of weird. I'm not used to all these new, like the new ingredients and the uh, the acorns and, you know, I'm just not used to it yet. Oh yeah, let's drop these rabbits here. There we go. Okay, uh, definitely not sunny to make a fire. Oh no, I forgot about I forgot about that. Forgot about the meat, guys. Oh, you know what? I remembered now. We we put the meat on, and the fire duration said it was gonna last just barely the right amount of time, and then I added like one more stick. So I guess the duration of the fire just lasted way longer than it said it would, and it ended up burning those steaks. So that's too bad. What's up with you, guy? Do you have? Oh, you got some guts for us? Do we want more guts? And what do these guys have? More guts as well. You know, I like the idea of leaving stuff here to cure, like guts and stuff. But I kind of want to just get on with the adventure. You know, get on exploring. Just keep going. Okay, we'll get 100% success with a match. So let's go ahead and just start a fire here. We can keep warm while we uh, craft our arrows. Craft a couple more. It's actually not too cold. Alright, let's see if I can uh, craft a simple arrow. It's going to take us how long? Craft one simple arrow. 1.5 hours. Whoa, for one arrow. It's because we don't have any tools, right? I'm going to go for it. Let's, let's get it done. Oh no, I didn't get a drink. No problem. Um, let's cook some more water and we'll do another simple arrow fire's gone out oh no <laughs> thought I could catch it at the very end there I'm not sure I can carry much more okay we got our two arrows that is great um Just for fun, I'm gonna see. Nope, can't start a fire. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wish I'd paid attention to that. Just kind of wasted a uh, match there. All right, I think we're ready to go. Actually, we could probably just head out at this point. Back to uh, seven arrows. Feels really good. Oh no! Don't tell me the wind's picking up. Well, tell you what guys, I think I'm ready to head out. Don't like being heavy though. Why? Yeah, they say you're not a true uh, long dark player until you've asked yourself, why am I heavy? Like every time you go somewhere. That's like constantly the thing I'm saying. Why am I so heavy? Why am I so heavy? Uh, it's because I carry junk with me everywhere I go, that's why. 
Got five cured guts. Okay, we don't need five cured guts. Let's drop four of those. I uh, don't need the the, the cured saplings because we just crafted up our arrows. Um, we can drop these arrow shafts. I want to put them where we can see them though. Can we see those? Put a couple of them up here just so we can we know they're there. Okay. I probably should craft up some additional fire hardened arrows. At some point. We're still heavy. Ooh, bedroll's getting kind of low. Repair, it's going to take 38 minutes. Okay. Might want to fix that up at some point. Um, possibly even right now, actually. What time is it? It is getting late. Let's see what else. I do have a lot of tea. We're carrying quite a bit of tea. And did I only bring the one bow this time? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, it's already down to 87%. Okay, I must have a lot of water or something. Yeah, six liters. Okay. Like, why am I so heavy? Let's drop some of this water. Okay, that did the trick. We are much better now. Okay. Let's head out. Nope, it's not going to work with the mag lens. Okay, temperature's cold. Um, I'm going to walk for a bit though. I think a, I think a torch would actually blow out, possibly with this wind. Seems like this usually is the best time to travel as the sun is setting. Seems like that's, uh, at least for this playthrough, it seem, seems to be the time that the storms have, have passed. I don't know where that goes. Does that just loop around? At any rate, I think this is the right way if we follow, if we head up behind the, uh, the silo there. Get a drink. Okay, this is new new territory for me. I haven't been up here before. The clouds are moving so fast. Some heavy trees here. Want to watch out for wolves. And 
And I'm also kind of looking for caves as we go. Okay, I think I just saw a sapling. Might be one up there and some more over there. Some birch bark. Okay, I thought I saw another sapling over here. Do have the rabbits? I saw moose markings on a tree there. Do we want to mess with the rabbits? I'll try an arrow. He's gonna run when I stand up, isn't he? I don't want to shoot him on the ice. I can't feel my feet. Thought I will. No, I won't. <laughs> he turned at the last minute. Okay, any more saplings? I see you, little rabbit. Okay, now my mouse isn't working at all. What is up? Oh, it's because I'm crouched. No! Oh, I don't know what's up, guys. I'm trying to click right now to pull my bow back. That's working. Okay, there we go. Okay, we are getting cold. Uh, I need to make a fire. Especially, ooh, hey, there's a church over there. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't especially want to harvest up the, the cattails until I know where I'm going. So let me grab these and then we can head over to the church. Are there any more cattails? Okay, we can go over to the church and warm up. Now the question is, St. Christopher's Church, Mountain Town. Um, question is, can we get a fire going in here? And I don't think it will let us. Yeah, it's not gonna let us, but uh, we are warm. So really I don't need a fire. Hey, that's cool. It will let us, okay. Got a soda. It's been a long time since we had a soda. Hate to think what books we're gonna burn here. Man, this pack is getting kinda heavy. Do you have a board we could break down? Mm -hmm. 
So what do we have here? We do have a bed we could use. Got an old organ. Now is this the organ that has like a, a piano has like a secret compartment? I think you have to find the note anyway before you can find the hidden loot. Okay, well, let's break down this chair. Get three uh, three pieces of wood out of that. Now, do we want to get a fire going? I think I might wait till morning. Let's see what I if there's anything I can do while it's still uh, while it's still dark. I want to try to do that. Let's see if we can repair a bedroll if there's enough light. Hey, we made it. Okay. So now we are down to eight cloth, and there might be some cloth in here. I don't remember seeing any. What else can we work on? Okay, you know, I'd heard that it's possible for us to find brass casings on the interloper difficulty in Hushed River Valley. So if I do find some casings, uh, we could possibly make up some um, fishing lures with those. Actually be kind of nice. Let's have a quick look and see if there's any cloth in here. There is lots of cloth, but I don't think it will let us take the cloth. Do have this one little bit right here. Okay, I might just head to bed here. So we got the campfire, and then up here there's a bed, right? Okay, let's get a drink. We're not particularly tired yet, that's the problem. You know, I could run around outside to see if we can get some more cattails. Let's see what the weather's like and the visibility. Oh, we got a vehicle. Okay, nothing in the vehicle. There's another truck over there. There more vehicles? Yeah, I've got another car. Any mushrooms?
Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. I was clicking on the stupid glove box and I thought I wanted to light the torch. Oh, man. <laughs> Is that a bug? I don't know. I was clicking on the glove box and then at the same time it was opening the glove box that lit the torch. The player. Uh, that's kind of a waste. Uh, do you have another vehicle over here? What is that? Logs. Got another vehicle over here. That's a shame about our flare. Just can't lift that up. Okay, we've got a bridge here. Town of Milton. All right, well, I think I'm gonna head back to the church. I walk over here. Got a deer over here. Well, this, is, this actually is pretty good. We've been getting tired as I run around here and getting some exploration done. When the uh, when the flare starts to get get low, I think I'll head into the church Jesus, and we'll cold. get a fire started. And uh, I might craft up some fire-hardened fire arrows with our fire. What is that? A boat? No, it's a tree trunk. Kind of sounded Canadian there for a minute. What's that about? Bad joke. Um, flare is almost out. carrying lots of books. Yeah, that's making us heavy too. Okay, 
we got three hours and five minutes. Um, let's get some water cooking. And let's see how long it takes us to craft. How long is this going to take? 45 minutes? 30 minutes with our knife. Alright, let's go for it. Okay, tired. Okay, let's craft another one. Or does that do three? So now we're up to... Uh, how many is that? How many do we have now? Is that five? Fire hardened arrows. So we got four and one damaged one. I think that's plenty. That's probably, yeah, that's probably plenty of uh, fire hardened arrows for us. We do have a lot of time left though on this fire. Yeah, we need deer skin for most of this. Ooh, our socks are getting kind of low 67%. I'm going to go ahead and repair. I wonder if I can drop we got any plenty of water. Here. We'll cook a little more. Since we got time, let's uh, fix our socks. Okay, is there anything else we need to be fixing? Let's check our clothing. Combat pants are getting kind of low. Yeah, ski jacket's getting down there. How long to fix this? Uh, 38 minutes? All right, let's add, let's cook some more water. Hey, we don't even have a ski jacket. That's funny. Uh, I forgot. I've been hauling this around, so let's uh, let's just harvest this. One hour and thirty minutes. I think I might actually wait. These are these will probably boil off. I think. Yeah. Gosh, we still haven't found long johns. That's crazy. 65%. Alright, we're going to repair these. Okay, it feels good to have nice clean underwear again. Got 18 minutes left on the campfire. And I think we're good for repairs. I think we are doing good. So, um... I think we're just gonna call it a night. Let's get a drink. Let's make sure we have enough calories to make it through 10 hours. And we do. Let's go ahead and sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning guys. We've survived 107 days. And it sounds like we do have a blizzard. I've never been so hungry. Beautiful morning, though. Very beautiful morning here in the church. I'm going to see if I can get a nice view of this church. That's kind of cool. I like the uh, the lighting effects. Okay, well, we do have a blizzard going on outside, and we're hungry. Uh, fortunately, we did pick up a bunch of cattails. Let's go ahead and eat those. And uh, I could drink a soda. Oh, she's going to love this. 
Astrid, go ahead and drink up. drink all the way up and then we're gonna harvest that uh, ski jacket or whatever whatever it was we've been hauling around with us there it is okay storm has stopped nice that worked out great okay I'm gonna drop the water that we don't need Drop three liters. And we're lightweight again. I think we're okay to head out now. Let's go check the weather. Okay. It's bright and sunny with snowflakes. And it's going to let us start a fire. That's good. Won't say no to that. Come on, little fire. <sighs> okay, twenty-five minutes. Let's drop. Uh, let's drop some teas. Just hearing the building. He's going after a deer, guys. Is he gonna get it? He's gonna get it. Wait. Probably really hard for you guys to see, but there's two little black dots chasing each other. I think the wolf did not get the deer. Looks like the deer got away. He's still going after it though. He's going across the bridge now. Alright, let's uh, pick up our teas. that away. Okay, nice. I think it's, uh, it's good weather for heading out. I'm going to go inside and save our game and I'll save our video. Curious how much time we have left on the fire here. I want to add some fuel just so that I can map. So we got one hour left. I'm curious how long it takes to map. Okay, how much time is left here? 52 minutes? So eight minutes, I guess, took to map. You know, I am gonna drop some more tea. Cause uh, our other tea may have cooled down a little bit. Let's keep taking some torches out of here. Ok, 
Okay, it's turned out to be a beautiful day. So I think I need to hug this wall. I hope that's right. Got the road down there. I'm just gonna keep hugging the side of the wall here, the mountain. A little bit of lag there. What do we have here? A deer? Okay. Any more feathers? And we got a trailer. Okay, I think I recognize this place. I'm gonna grab these while I'm thinking about it. Okay, I think I remember being here on a previous playthrough. Guns, guns, guns. Uh, I don't need to use a restroom. Should be good there. Um, okay, let's go check out this trailer here. Hey, we got a workbench. You know, I think this is the closest building to Hush River Valley. So it makes sense I got a workbench in here. I think I can use this. Um, I'm gonna take it, but we'll we'll end up dropping it right here, I think. Once we loot all this. Hey, got some spray paint as well. Granola bar. Yeah, got a lantern. Hope nobody needs this anymore. It's uh, half full of uh, oil, 91%. I 
if I had a way of getting the oil out of our current lantern, I would uh, I would switch lanterns. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and drop what we don't need. So we're going to drop our lantern. They're both 91%. Okay. So we'll drop that one. And then the... Uh, we'll drop... I can't imagine we need all of these spray paints. So we'll drop that. And then the electrical fuse. Where did you go? Ooh, I should drop that as well. Okay, what? Where did you go, fuse? What does that fall under? I'm um, just not seeing it. There it is. Okay, so we'll leave those items here. Hey, we got a burn barrel as well. And some firewood. That's actually pretty nice. Now, I can't remember where... It's got to be close here, the uh, entrance to the Hushed River Valley. I think it is right here somewhere. Like up the trail, maybe? got this trail going on. Maybe it's farther up. Anyway, if we have to spend the night here, we can uh, we can harvest up that deer. Although we got uh, we got plenty of time. Got to be pretty close here. Just got a rabbit. I wouldn't mind practicing on him with our. Uh, arrows. Let's see if I can drop my torch without disturbing him. Try this again. There we go. And here's your friend. I would drop the one I'm carrying, but I'm afraid it's going to uh, scare him away. There we go. Alright. Let's get our torch. Okay, we are heavy now. Let's take these guys with us. I think we're really close guys so don't feel bad if we're attracting uh, wolves I think we are really close to the cave is that it I think that is it Yeah, I'm going to drop these guys, and I'd really like to map while we can. Let's 
Get a new torch. Okay, map. Uh, let's see. We did get our cave there. Nice. All right, let's head inside. Cave, Mountain Town, all right. Uh, we do have the rabbits with us. Ooh, I'm looking forward to getting more coal. I'm also curious what our uh, what our archery score level is at. Let's take a look real quick. How are we doing for archery? We're slowly getting there. Oh, that'll be so nice when we uh, when we're level five, we can crouch and shoot. We got uh, rabbits in our pocket. So just gotta cook them up. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. We'll drop a, a lot of our stuff up here so we're not so heavy. Just want to make sure I get all the coal I can. And uh, hopefully we'll respawn later on. I wonder if those sticks respawn in the cave as well. Okay, so we've got our exit right here. Let's figure out what we're going to drop. Uh, we could drop a lot of firewood here. And then I don't need 16 pieces of coal. We can drop those right here. I'm going to take three pieces with us. I think we will find more coal. You know, maybe I'll take four. I'll take four with us just in case. I do have five reclaimed wood as well. Uh, I've got the guns, guns, guns book. I'm going to drop that. Uh, of course, we've got the rabbits with us. Uh, water. We're actually doing okay for water. I think we're just tired, and we got those rabbits. Um, okay, now when I go out into Hushed River Valley, there is a chance that our torch is going to blow out. So I'm going to drop. Whoa! Okay, that was unexpected. I guess I was just too close to the exit there. There we go. Um, as I was saying, there's a chance our torch could blow out. Um, so I might... Let's drop that and light a new one. Okay, now let's head out. It's actually looking pretty good. Um, now I do have those rabbits with me. Time of day. Okay, I'm going to drop the rabbits here. Um, let's drop them inside the, the cave. And then I'll go explore. Ok, 
Okay, welcome to the Hush River Valley. I think there's a good chance we're going to be back in that cave to spend the night. But I'd like to get a head start on looking around. Figuring out where we are and how things work and where they go. So right away we've got a branch going left, one going straight ahead, and looks like we have maybe a walkway ahead of us, above us. I'm going to put a mark on this rock here. And let's get... You're going to put that there. So we know where our cave is. I am really happy we made it to Hush River Valley. Um, I'm a little bit concerned though because I'm not familiar with the area and uh, it all looks the same so far. Uh, fortunately, I think there are tons of caves here, so you know, even if we get lost. I think we're going to be okay for uh, shelter. I think there's also lots of cattails all over the place. I'm not sure what the uh, wolf or bear situation is here. I might try to get some of those rabbits. I don't think if we cook up the rabbits we have, I don't think it's going to fill us up. Hey, rabbit. Um, I might try to get you guys. Let's see if I can drop my torch quietly. We do have our crooked arrows. Oh, he must have saw me. Don't want to take too long. I want my torch to go out. Oh, that was my last torch. <laughs> okay, that was uh, bad planning. Thought I had more torches. Oops. Okay, I better eat. I'm going to lose my wolf fed bonus here. Okay, rabbit's coming back. No, he's not. Oh, crouching would be so nice.
So if we chase a rabbit into a bear, is the bear going to do anything? There we go. Let's drop this guy right here. And hopefully we can find his friend. There he is. Come on back, little rabbit. Right above him. That felt good. Okay, now we got four rabbits. It is getting dark. I'm gonna scour this little pond just in case we missed any cattails. Let's leave our rabbits here. Cloud Top Falls. All right, yeah, it kind of does look like a thundercloud up there. Okay, I think we're good for cattails. Looks like we got them all. Let's grab our brace of conies here, brace of rabbits, whatever they call them. And uh, go cook them up. Alright, just in case there's wolves, get this out. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. So far, so good. Don't see any wolves or bears. I might try to run just to get tired. Use up some energy. Let's see what's over here. We got some kind of overlook. Right, this must be the Hushed River Valley. Alright, I don't think I want to go any farther. Let's get a drink. And I'll eat a cattail.
All right, I think we're gonna head back now. Should be nice and tired now when we get back to camp. crazy we just walked this way and already our footprints are buried with the snow Home sweet home. This is our cave. Do I want to put some kind of mark here? I usually put fire starting by caves for some reason. Okay. Let's head inside. I think it's time for a fire and we don't have a torch right okay let's get our lantern out grab these guys I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer grab these I'm gonna leave those there um, I just want to come in a ways How about right here make a fire right here Let's use our guns, guns, guns book. Yeah, let's do another cedar wood. Okay, let's drop these rabbits. Uh, get some water cooking. You know, I'm going to stop there. I'm really kind of worried about losing our well fed. Let's eat another piece of uh, cattail. Drop the meat, harvest up another kilogram. Oh, it's uh, 0.5. Okay. So that one's done too. I guess we got both of those. Oh, let's use our hacksaw. I should have been using that all the all this time. Okay, one minute yet. Nice. Let's go ahead and eat up. Thirteen minutes. <sighs> Let's 
get a drink. Twenty seven minutes. And I guess that's it for the meat. So we got all the meat off this one. All the meat off that one. Okay, guess that's it. Now we could get the uh, the other items here. Ten minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's pick up all our meat. So, I wish it would put it in the right order. I sort by, what is this? By, sit, it gives us uh, 0.48 kilograms, and then it jumps up to 0.98, and then it goes back down to 0.24, and then back up to one. I, I, kinda weird how they do that. But, uh, it is what it is. I kind of want these guys out of the way. So I think I want to put my bedroll here at some point. Let's put him right here, I guess. Put our bedroll down. Okay, let's get his guts. And check on the fire. Got an hour and 21 minutes left on the fire. Four rabbits, and I don't think it's even enough to fill us up. Be surprised. Uh, we did get some guts out of it, though. Yeah, let's do some water. Okay, I think this is the last gut we have. minutes. We got a lot of sticks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get one of the hides. We'll use our hands. 28 minutes, let's, uh, let's go for it. Okay, seven minutes on the fire. That's more. All 
Actually, 28 minutes might be the right amount of time. If we do water. Okay, so we did get the hide off of that guy. Let's drop it here. I need to find a place to rest. Yeah, we could take the hide off of this guy. Then I think it'll be uh, time to go to bed. So let's go ahead and grab that. The fire's gonna go out. Nice, okay, I think our water's done, yeah. Water's done, let's pick that up. You know, I will I'll add a stick just so we have some... Uh... Oh, it's too late, all right. We don't need light, let's get a drink. I'm gonna drop our rabbit skin. And that should be everything. All right, guys. Sleep for 10 hours. And I'll see you in the morning. Nice. We even got some light today. Let's pick that up. And I think we are heavy with water. Got seven liters. Let's drop five liters. Should leave us with a good amount there. Oh, let's get a drink. All right, we got our bedroll. Drop the uh, rabbit hides. Okay, guts are curing. We'll leave these guys in here, I guess. And let's head outside, see what kind of day it is. A little bit chilly. We've got uh, three chevrons going down. Temperature today, negative 38, with a wind chill of negative two there. Uh, but with our clothing, it feels like 13, negative 13 degrees. Nice, guys. We made it to Hushed River Valley. I think this is a great place to call it an episode. I'm looking forward to exploring. In the next episode, we're going to branch out and uh, start looting and exploring the uh, Hushed River Valley. So, Thanks for coming along with me, guys. I uh, do appreciate it. As always, I always like your comments, uh, your encouragement. I enjoy the... Uh, if you give me a thumbs up, it uh, really helps me to feel encouraged to keep playing. So... Uh, this is Brockett saying thanks for com coming along with me, and I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care.